Title IX is part of the Educational Act of 1972. It has been transformational in K-12 and higher education in making sure that uh, there's equity in the experiences based off of gender. The importance to me is that it gives you a foot in that door. Prior to Title IX, women, despite their qualifications, were denied admittance into colleges and universities, into professional schools, based solely on their sex. So many different women now are able to um, participate in college athletics and you know, go on to be pro because we've kind of been given the same equal uh, playing field as the men. It allows for uh, women to have equality in sports, but not just um, equal men and women on the playing field, but equality all over. So equality in um, the equipment that they have, equality in um, their, uh, their, their locker rooms, equality in everything that they do in athletics. Title IX gave young women opportunity, opportunity in sports, an opportunity in academics to achieve their potential. When you think about all of the positive impacts that the law has had in the last 50 years and the women that were able to participate in a sport that they, you know, that they love, the, the opportunity for them to be able to have, you know, access on an even playing field with, with their peers. It had a tremendous impact in my life because it gave me the opportunity to come to the States and play a Division One sports and also get an education. And nowadays, I am a head coach because of Title IX, and it also gives me the chance to impact other young women. For me, Title IX has given me many opportunities that my mother and my grandmother did not have growing up. Um, I was able to play basketball at a high level, even in high school. We played in front of sold out crowds. We went to national tournaments on the school's dollar. I was 11 years old and I wanted to play soccer and there were no girls programs. And so when, when Title IX was passed, I was able to play soccer and I actually was the first girl in the state of Pennsylvania to play on a boys soccer team. I played tennis for the University of Houston back in the late 1970s, after the passage of Title IX. But if you were to compare my experience on the women's tennis team to a young man's experience on the men's tennis team, it was very different. I think now, as an administrator, even beyond being a college athlete, I have realized what Title IX opened up for me. Title IX allowed institutions again to provide those opportunities, the uniforms, the spaces, the ability to compete and to learn so much, not just on the field and on the court, but the leadership pieces that I've been able to gain from being a student athlete have been priceless. I also think about just my own personal uh, experience with my daughters and for them to be able to come to college campuses since I've been in, in college athletics and experience you know the the pageantry and the excitement and the the joy and and the lessons that you learn from participating in athletics and to see women that can be you know hope and inspiration to them is just really powerful. I think the progression has been amazing from the time I was a student athlete to now the more opportunities the more equality and equity that there is. I hope to see increased equality in this landscape that we are in and that everybody regardless of how they identify us have equal opportunities. I'm hoping to see that um, we don't even have to think about um, making sure that we're counting that there's enough men and enough women at that, that uh, we are always looking at are, are the men's teams equal to the women's teams, that it's a, it's a no-brainer. I'd like to see more young women in leadership positions. We have very few women who are athletic directors, especially at the D1 level. I hope that women's sports are broadcasted on TV and at, at, at the same level that men's sports are. With anything, I think it's important to know the history of where we are, where we've been, and how we want to continue to grow. It's not completely equal yet, um, and we don't always have that equality on the playing field, in the locker rooms, 
with equipment or even in the workplace. Sexual harassment hasn't been eliminated. Um, equality in, in sports is not completely there yet. Um, so we have to be continually monitoring it. It's important to celebrate and advocate it for all young girls. I have a, a three-year-old daughter who I want her to grow up knowing that she can be whatever she wants to be. She, she can do if she wants to be a doctor or a dentist or a lawyer or a teacher or a coach, she knows that she can go to the highest level she wants to be without feeling discriminated against. I think highlighting the achievements of women, um, you look at what the you know, equal pay and equal access to uh, facilities is so important. And if it's not kept in the forefront, I think sometimes uh, we miss out and don't see the bigger picture. And at the end of the day, you know, everyone deserves the right to be able to be treated fairly and, and, and equity is important and equality is important and so for us to be able to do that with sports and make sure that there, it, you know, we can eradicate the discrimination especially as it relates to gender, it's critically important as we continue to move forward as, as a department, as a university, as a country, or as a whole.